Now let's define new variable and let's call it age and its value will be integer 21. And now let's assume that uh, you want to increment value of this age variable by 1. You could do that in following way. age equals sign age plus 1. We actually use current value of age variable and increment it by 1 and afterwards new value is assigned to the same variable. If I do that, uh, now value of the variable age is 22. Also, you could perform same operation using plus equal operator and let's assume that now we want to increment the value of the variable age by 2. Age plus equal 2. No need for two different operators here and here, you could use just single operator plus equal and now value of the variable age is 24. Similarly, you could decrement value of the variable by using minus equal operator. Age minus equal file, let's say. And now age is 19. Also, you could assign none as value of any variable and also you could delete a specific variable using del operator, like that. And now there is no such variable. We already discussed base types like string or integer. And now it's time to talk about container types in Python. And there are such container types as list, tuple, dictionary and set. Dictionary and set are unordered sequences of some values. List and tuple are ordered. And let's start with list. You could create list using square brackets notation. And here is empty list. You could assign empty list to any variable, for example a. Now type of the a is list and now it is empty. You could check length of the list using length function, like that. And now length of the a is zero, it has zero elements. Now a as instance of the list has many different methods that you could call using dot notation. If you type a and dot and press tab twice, you'll see which methods are available for use. There are such methods as append, copy, count, clear and so on. You could use append in order to add new elements to existing list. Let's do that. a dot append. And let's append number 2. If I access a now, there is one element inside and now length of this list is 1. Let's append one more element to this list and let's append string abc for instance. And let's check now. And now a contains two different elements and now length of the a is of course 2. You could access specific element of the list using its index and indexes start with 0, index of the first element is 0 and index of the second element is 1. And you could use square brackets notation for that, a square brackets 0. And I get 2, it is first element in this list and it has index 0. Let's access second element and now instead of 0 here will be 1, I get abc. But if I try to access element that doesn't exist, for example, let's put here index 10, I'll get index error, list index out of range. Let's add one more element to this list, a.append. By the way, you could always use tab in order to autocomplete, for example, name of the method you want to use. And here let's add element true, this boolean value. Now length of the a is 3. And let's say that you want to access last element in this list. For that, you could use such syntax as a, square brackets, minus 1. Negative indexes like minus 1, minus 2 and so on allow you to access elements starting from the end of the list. Now a has three different elements and if you want to remove last element in the list, you could use pop method a.pop like that without any arguments, it returns element that was just removed and now a has just two elements. Also, it's possible to remove all elements from the list using clear method and now a is empty. Alright, let's remove this variable a. 